What up, Boxing World to All Rounds TV? We got Miguel Cotto versus Daniel Gill. Coming up uh, in a couple hours from now, it's going to be the live uh, official weigh in. But anyway, this video is going to be my fight prediction of the Cotto versus uh, Gill. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's start off with uh, Daniel Gill. Daniel Gill, I believe this is a sport fight uh, in America. He is Austrian. Uh, he's been fighting in Austria. And um, he's got over 30-something fights, I believe. He's got about 16 knockouts. Uh, a little over 50% knockout. He's younger than Cotto. I believe he's only 33, if that, 34, something like that. Um, he's a solid competitor. He is five foot ten, I believe. He is way taller than Cotto, well, about three inches, three four inches taller than Cotto. He just looks bigger than Cotto, though. Uh, maybe because he's a little thicker. Um, on the other hand, we got Miguel Cotto. He's known. Uh, he don't need no introduction. Everybody knows him. He's a Puerto Rican dude. Uh, I think he's born and raised in Rhode Island. He's got over forty three or forty some fights, forty three total to be exact. I think he's got thirty nine wins, only four losses. He's got over ninety percent KO. Like I said, uh, Cotto's fought the best. Uh, he's fought me, whether he's fought Pacquiao. Um, he's fought everybody, you know. Um, now, uh, contrary to popular belief, a lot of people are saying that uh, because Cotto now is being a businessman because of his uh, uh, upcoming fights. Uh, he's been criticized about uh, fighting Daniel Gill versus just uh, fighting uh, Golovkin instead or Canelo. But that's Cotto. You know, Cotto's not getting any younger. He's getting older. Um, I think it's you know it's time to start thinking about retirement, and uh, I'm sure he'll fight Golovkin and Canelo in the future. But for now, we got we're, he's facing uh, Daniel Gill. Cotto is I, I believe five seven, um, a good boxer, but uh, he's got very impressive wins uh, against his last two opponents, uh, Guerrero. Was it Guerrero? It's Guerrero and Martinez. Even though Martinez had a bum knee, but it was impressive. But a lot of people are also saying that Cotto really, really uh, got better ever since he got with Freddie Roach. Maybe yes, maybe not. Don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So yeah, my prediction of this fight is... Um, I believe this fight is not going to go all 12 rounds. Um, this fight is, I believe, is a catch weight of 157. And... Um, I don't think I'll go all 12 rounds. I'll give it a... 10 rounds or less, Miguel Cotto knocks out Daniel Gill. It's going to be either TKO uh, or KO or stoppage. I don't think it will be 12 rounds. But I'm picking uh, Miguel Cotto to win again. Um, with, uh, Miguel Cotto to win against uh, Daniel Gill via knockout. Like I said, that's either TKO, KO, or stoppage. Um, last two fights of Cotto were all KOs. Either um, referee uh, technical decision or or technical knockout. So um, and also he's gotten better. He's gotten better ever since you know he's fought Mayweather and Pacquiao. He's gotten really better. You know, like I said, um, some people also said that, that he's gotten better ever since he got with Federer Roach. But I don't see this fight going all 12 rounds. I believe Daniel Gill is a solid competitor. I believe that he's got the the skills to beat Cotto. But not, not this time. I don't think tomorrow will be that time. Daniel Gill has a very low KO percentage. And uh, I don't think he's about to start now. Not with Miguel Cotto. It's not going to happen. Even though a lot of people don't like Miguel Cotto. And a lot of people like Daniel Gill for this matter. I just don't see um, Daniel Gill beating Cotto. Unless he gets lucky. Every, anything can happen in boxing. As I always say in my predictions. Anything can happen in boxing. But... For me, my prediction is Miguel Cotto uh, via knockout within 10 rounds um, is either TKO okay, or stoppage. He'll stop Daniel Gill. He's not going to go all 12 rounds. So hopefully, you know, they show us a great fight. And um, that's it, guys. You know, Miguel Cotto via knockout within 10 rounds against Daniel Gill. That's my uh, final prediction of the fight. And you guys stay tuned for the uh, weigh-in. It's going to be upcoming here in a couple hours. And uh, let, leave me some comments. Let me let me know what you guys think. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one right after the official weigh-in. Peace.